I'm hoping that it's just a phase that I'm going through and that eventually I'll get past this hump and I will, you know, roll up my sleeves and just try to be the best person that I can be in the field of ABA. <laughs> everybody welcome back to my channel for a new video if you're new my name is macy yes you guys um i've been getting a couple questions about my name so my real name is maynell i it's short for may a lot of people couldn't remember my name they would call me mayonnaise maylene maybella maynella so um i just would go by may for short and then my middle name is Shakoti starts with the C. So when you take May for May nail and you take the C, that's how I got Macy. Um, so how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. I am getting ready to go run one errand. I need to go and get some hair dye. My hair is growing insanely fast, you guys. Um, Y'all know a couple, what was it, about a month or two ago? I went and got my first pixie cut and look at how long your girl hair is getting, okay? Um, I really like for my hair to be like a rich black. So that's why, you know, I color it because I like for it to be black. Um, I might do a brown. Um, Hubby wants me to try a brown color in my hair. So I might do that. Um, I also have been trying or i'm going to be trying my new products um i don't know if you guys have heard of jew poppin um i follow her on instagram and she has some new products out so i've been trying to like use better products i guess on my relaxed hair just to try to keep it healthy but this is uh her growth stimulating oil i did do an unboxing video on this so i'm going to be dropping that in a couple weeks or maybe a week um, I got her vitamin E oil, and then I also got her Jupoppin Edge Control. So I'm going to be trying those products on my hair. Um, she had a sale going on, so I decided to jump in on it. The last thing was these hair vitamins. I'm not really a, a hair vitamin girl. I just take a basic multivitamin and iron pills. And really just call it a day so um, this happened just so happened it came with the sale so i got these and then um, i'm gonna show you guys what we got we went did a little bit of shopping today there's not a bunch of stuff in here uh today but i wanted to share with you guys what i got um so basically um I got Kaden another uh, mask. These masks he like, um, they're so comfortable. And then um, Babe got another one because he lost his. Um, the next thing is Babe got some shoes. He has been having some foot pain. So he ended up getting these, just all black. He's gonna wear these um, to work today. So we got those. I feel like I'm always in this shirt, you guys. I have so many clothes and I'm always in the same thing. But I don't know. I just have like my favorite clothes that I just like to wear. So <laughs> this is one of them. Um, I ended up getting these. I thought that these were nice. These are a size medium. And they're like a... You know, as you guys can see, they're blue and they have run on the side. I don't know. I might have to take those back and get a large. And then uh, Babe got this shirt. Now it is about to get hot, so we probably won't be buying any long sleeve shirts uh, anymore. The next thing we'll be getting is uh, short sleeve. But he got this uh, green shirt or long sleeve top, whatever you call it. Um, and then the last thing is I got, y'all know I'm a pink girl. I have a blue one just like this, but yeah, I couldn't resist the pink, right? Ah, love my pink. And this is a size medium. 
Okay, so we got that. Um, what else? I feel like I want to talk with you guys about something else. Oh, so I do want to give you guys a quick school update. Um, a lot of you guys have been following me. Y'all know that I am on this journey uh, to become a behavior analyst. And I thought I was pretty much settled in terms of my career uh, in life. Uh, you know, at this point, I'm doing it because I want to, you know, I want to help people. Um, I want to, I want to help. Okay. You guys know that autism is something that is near and dear to me. And so I wanted to give back. Um, so that's really why I decided to go on this journey. So let me just give y'all an update on how everything is going. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, y'all know Last year or last semester, I did make the Dean's List with Extinction. So I'm super proud of myself and uh, glory to God for his, uh, his love and mercy. So it's not easy. If you guys follow me, I'm always posting late at night where I'm, you know, doing homework and studying. But here lately, I will say that I'm feeling challenged um, in terms of the field. There, I think as you get deeper into your studies, you begin to learn about different things. You, you learn about the field itself. And I don't know, it's just been a lot of talk and a lot of groups about how, you know, the field has been abusive and how a lot of people has a, a lot of adults has suffered PTSD and ABA is traumatizing and that they need to get rid of it. It needs to be abolished. And it would just really hurt me knowing that I would be a part of that. So I think where I am in my journey, I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm really grabbing on to God's feet and praying to him to, you know, God, please continue to show me the way and and help me be ethical in any way possible, in every way possible. Cause I think that's just kind of where I am right now is that I I don't wanna be, a, I, I wanna help. Like I don't wanna be, I don't want any part of anything that is traumatizing to someone. Like that's just not my intentions at all. So, you know, I feel like God wants me to continue on and keep going and and just try to make a difference. And and every every time I implement something, implement a treatment to make sure it's ethical in the best way possible. So that's really why, you know, I, I try to make good grades because I, I, I'm really focused on just making sure that I am of I'm a good service. You know, I don't want to be a bad service. Um so in lieu of all of that, it has made me very emotional. Um, I I never realized that I would cry or I would feel like this isn't for me or this isn't something that I want to do or why are you doing this? Why? Why? Like I, I'm, it's emotional. It's draining. I'm crying. I'm I am just feeling all of the emotions, and I I, I didn't expect that. Like. In this journey, I never expected that. Um, I'm hoping that it's just a phase that I'm going through and that eventually I'll get past this hump and I will, you know, roll up my sleeves and just try to be the best person that I can be in the field of ABA and just keep keep going forward. In lieu of the emotion, it makes it makes me want to quit. And I'm like, Maynell, girl, you've never quit anything except when I was in high school I was bullied I quit the build the the uh drill team but I have always kept pushing forward like I preached that on my page my Instagram page like keep pushing keep and uh, Tosh time uh shout out to Tosh time for for uh that's her saying to keep pushing but I like to just keep God first and keep persevering and you know the last interview I did with Tiana um it was it was amazing to get other people's opinions and their views in the field. A lot of people just give me so much inspiration. They give me so much hope. And I'm like, okay, we're in this together. 
And that's really what has been helping me um, throughout this whole process. Babe has, I, I talked to him about it and I'm like just crying and I'm like, what do I do? Do I keep going forward? Do I, I don't know guys, I'm just in this season right now. I'm hoping when I look back on this video and I'm past this season that I can say, you know what? I'm glad that I kept going. I'm glad that I didn't quit uh, just because I went through these emotions. But overall, I'm still blessed. I'm still thankful. I'm still happy to be on this journey. I know that if I keep God first place, if I keep my eyes on him, if I stay focused on what it is that I want to bring uh, to the field of ABA, I know that I'm going to be okay. I know that I'm going to be as ethical as possible. I'm going to strive every single day to be the best damn ethical behavior analyst that I could possibly be um, in my life. And I mean that. Um, I'm so thankful to so many people, my mama, my sister, my brother, my mama, my dad, my, you know, babe, Kaden, the kids, uh, my friends, everybody that has encouraged me. I want to thank you all so much. Uh, Rhonda, I love you so much. Um, Henry, thank you. Thank you guys for always checking on me. Thank you guys for every comment on my video. I mean, you guys rock, like for real. Like, you guys are the true MVPs of Just Macy. Like, seriously, I love each and every one of you. I appreciate every one of you. And thank you all so much for joining me on this journey. So you guys stay blessed. I love you all so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Cheers.